Hi, today's session is a continuation to my previous session on version management in SAC. In today's session, we're going to look at the topic forecast version data that is generated from data actions. We're going to look at the basics of data actions. We're not going into the details of data actions and multiple complex scenarios in this particular session. So we're going to start very basic and understand how these data actions can help in generating forecast version data uh, for the planning user story. Some of the topics include uh, creating new forecast private version and then publish that in as a public uh, forecast version. And also we create an empty private version and then start making the changes to it and then publish that as well. We're going to look at these activities in the system. I'm going to switch to this SAC trial system. Here I have my models in the sales plan folder models. And then I have one that I have it originally. And then there's another model um, for the sessions. So I'm going to open this, uh, this model. There is some data loaded. Uh, from the flat file, so get some, uh, but initially the data loaded for actuals. So you can see that the version, uh, only available version is actuals. There's no forecast um, and there's no rolling forecast uh, data in this model. So we're going to start very basic. And then now as the next step, we're going to create some um, forecast data as a copy of actuals. So it's going to be pretty simple. So I can do this in different ways. So I'm going to start with uh, copying actuals into um, um, private uh, forecast version uh, as a full copy. Uh, this is, can be done uh, using a story, planning story. For that, I'm going to create a planning story on this model. I'm going to access my planning story. I already have created a, a simple um, story here is nothing uh, different in it. It's just a, a plain uh, forecast or a story that can be used for planning. So I'm going to open it in edit mode. We get different panels here with the optimized design experience. I'm going to, uh, I have product in rows and then I have uh, my actual measures in the columns. Okay, and then I switch on the details pane and then I get the um, uh, table properties here when I switch on the um, detail pane. So you can see the, um, the version that is filtered is actually, that is the only uh, version available for this model. I'm gonna also switch to the version management screen that we have seen in the previous session, uh, can say, version management. So you can see uh, just the actual version uh, that is available as public version for us. So I'm going to create a, um, a public, a, sorry, a private version as a copy to the uh, pub public version actual. So what it is going to do, when I copy this, it's going to create a new version that I'm going to call it as forecast. And then category, my new version is going to have a category called forecast. Categories are very similar to what we used to see in BPC a standard where um, um, category is a, a mandatory dimension which contains actuals, work forecasts, or rolling forecast um, kind of versions in it. So here in SAC, um, each version is going to associate to a, a category. So the new version I'm going to create is forecast version, and I'm going to assign this to your forecast category. And it's asking, is you're going to copy all data or based on some filters? I'm going to copy everything from actuals into my new forecast version. Say, okay. So you can see a new forecast version is being created and the um, this is coming automatically into my story as in to the columns. I can also see the difference for the forecast version. It is automatically, um, differentiated to have the uh, uh, the different format for the forecast version. Now this is good. If I wanted to publish this to a public version, simple, I can say um, publish as, and then I, uh, if I do publish, it's going to put it into actuals, which I don't want it because it's, since it is copied from actuals, so the publish will make this version to be um, 
over written in actual version, which I don't want. So I, I'm going to put publish as. So I'm going to say the forecast. That's going to be my a new version name. Okay. So my new version is being updated to forecast and the private version is being deleted. So you can see there are two public versions, right? Right now, one is actual and then forecast. Both values will be same because I copied everything from actuals. This is how I create a new version. Could it be plan version or forecast version or rolling forecast version? Now, what I wanted to do, um, I wanted to create um, a new uh, private version private version that is going to have, going to start with empty values. And then I wanted to uh, copy based on certain conditions. In that case, I will use data actions for that purpose. The data actions can contain complex or simple to complex um, logics to um, process or to uh, transfer the data from one place to another place. So let's let's see uh, with this some basic simple data action on processing the data into my new new forecaster version. So I'm going to create a new uh, version that is going to be called as private um, uh, forecast uh, for I say John 2024. This is my forecast. Or I can call entire 2024. Okay, and then the category is going to be forecast. And then source version. I'm really not going to use any of the uh, source versions here. Let it be empty and then say create. So now my new pr private version has been created and it's going to show as empty because it's, it's there's nothing in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this story and then run a data action in the background to to populate or uh, to to, set, to execute certain actions certain logics and place the data into this new newly created private version let's take a look at how do we do it we go, i'm going to go into the data actions folder so data actions we're going to look into the data actions very detail in the um, future sessions but this time uh, understand that data actions is a, like a planning function that can make you to create um, a logic to transfer uh, to to transform the data from uh, source to target. I'm going to create a new data action. I'm going to say uh, copy logic, and then I'm going to keep the same. And the default model is going to be my sessions. And that's it. And the next step is parameters. This is also very similar to what you have in the BPC or IP, where you maintain the parameters on what the source and the target. So here, my parameter, uh, uh, the default parameter is target version. I can create more parameters, but at this time, I just need my version to be updated or changed. So the target version, I'm not keeping any hard-coded value. I'm going to leave this one. So if I leave this, I will have a prompt to select my target um, version when the data action is being executed in the story. So I'm going to leave this dynamic as dynamic and then go back to the uh, screen of the data actions management. I'm going to add a step. There are multiple steps in data actions that can be used in, in, in the upcoming sessions. But at this time, I'm going to use a simple uh, copy step um, here. So I'm going to say copy. Um, the, I can copy the actuals and I can also copy the forecast because those two versions have the same data. So you can I can start with, I can say copy uh, actuals to forecast. I um, don't need the description at this time, so I'm good. So version is target version in the filter. What version you want it? to see. So I, I have multiple versions, actually, at least two versions at this time, because I recently created a forecast version. So my 
version can be actual, actual this time because um, there's no difference in it, but I'm just going to start with actuals. And then uh, that's it. I'm not really going to have any complex or rules to define this data action, but I can even add more steps in this for different logics by going in there. But this is a very basic one. I'm going to save it and, and then just put it in into the data actions uh, folder of my sales plan sales plan folder data actions copy logic for actuals to forecast okay and then that's the description got to put there so my data action is being saved i go back to my story um that i just uh, created oops i'm not going to create a new story i wanted to go into the files and go to the story as you see, the, the story um, has two versions, uh, public versions and one private version. So I'm gonna uh, bring the data action that I just created into my Canvas page. So for that, I'm gonna insert a data action. Of, so I navigate to the planning actions and uh, get data actions trigger. So that's when I get this uh, little uh, icon box here so i'm going to re adjust here and then i'm going to configure this label is for the trigger the label is copy actual to forecast and then description i can leave it and then the data action i have to choose the one just created copy logic actuals to forecast and then i'm not publishing it i if i want it i can pub publish after this data action has been triggered. So that's it. And then the target version is prompt. I'm not giving any value. I can choose the default value here, but I would like to leave this uh, for um, for the runtime or when when the data action has been triggered. Okay, so I'm can canceling it and then save it. Okay, so now this is my product data. And this is my forecast uh, for 2024. And then this is uh, the actuals that I wanted to copy it into forecast. I can simply do that, or I can have certain logics like increase 15% or uh, add 10% to the actual values. I can do multiple calculations in that in the formula editor of data actions for now. Uh, we, we're not going into the those details. So I'm going to run this data action now. Say so click run data action. And then it's going to ask me for a target version to pick. As I said before, I can put it into these public versions or I can even put it into my private version. So I'm, I'm, I'm choosing my private version as the target version and then say run. So this is going to run uh, the data action in the background or logic in the data action in the background and then gives the data um, into this into this uh, uh, version. When my data action is being completed, I can see the data in my newly created forecast private version. And then I can see that by switching uh, onto my version management of the table. So I can go to my version management and then I see uh, the newly private version has got the data loaded. You can also see that uh, from the model. So I go back to my model and I, now I can see there are two public versions and there's one private version. And the private version is also a copy of uh, actuals in this case. It could be a copy from the other version as well. So now I would like to uh, uh, make some changes to the um, forecast of one of the products. I can select my bike. Um, I, actually, before I make this selection, I wanted to apply a filter so that I, I restrict my data set to the lowest amount uh, that I can. So for that, I switch back to my details panel of the table. Instead of version management, I close version management and then switch on my details. Uh, here, I'm going to add a filter uh, for a month. This time, I'm going to choose 2023 20, January as the month. So I'm going to say date. 
um, I'll put the fixed and then say um, the month and then just I'm going to put 2013 John to uh, just one month. So now I get less data and with this filter, then I can apply my uh, planning forecast uh, members changes here. Now the data set is reduced to just have one uh, product for the 2023 John. Add member and then it gets me a new member screen. I'm going to add uh, something called M990 um, bike, something like that. And then say it's not a, it's not available currently. So if you wanted to choose the existing product value, you can choose it from the value help, but this one is a new one. So it's just going to ask me to enter it. So when I press enter, it's going to uh, ask me what is the parent note and what value it is. And the newly added members cannot be deleted. And it's just a warning message. So I'm going to say apply. And this new product has been added successfully. You don't have any postings to this uh, newly product that's just Chris created, but I can have some value in it saying that I can add 2000 uh, uh, value to it. And then this get updated uh, to this new product in this particular forecast private version. So now you're going to go and then uh, see the data. Uh, you wouldn't in the model, you wouldn't see that un until you uh, until you get to complete that action. Yeah, now you see that the new product has been added. Now, uh, if I publish this private version to, into the public version, that's when all the other uh, planners can see this version um, uh, for the other collaborative uh, usage. So that's how we can do private planning version to the public one. Let's do that. So I'm gonna go into the version management here um, and then say, uh, going to publish this as I can say rolling forecast or just the forecast for uh, John 2024. So that's my new uh, version name and then say public publish. So it's going to go into the forecast version of uh, forecast John 2024 with the newly added uh, forecast. That's what you can see here. And the rest of the other versions don't don't have that value uh, added. So this way, you can have manual inputs to the story, and then they go and update the versions respectively. Uh, it could be either from private version uh, to start with initially, and then make that as public, or you run a uh, data action to either to your private version or to your public version directly based on the logics that you wanted to apply. I just wanted to make sure you understand the relation between the version management and the navigations from version management private to public and also the data actions how they interact and how they re relevant relevant to the version uh, in this session and from next session onwards we're going to look at more uh, detailed man manual planning scenarios uh, like uh, having uh, input values and disaggregation, having the formulas, and etc. That's all for today's session. Thanks for listening. Uh, bye for now.